when the most interesting thing about a movie is its story and the story is not the movie's own but it's still so very enjoyable to watch does that make it a good movie hey y'all my name is sacharita welcome back to my channel where we talk about movies and occasionally with people making said movies today let's take a look at shri ram raghavan's much awaited merry christmas starring katrina kaif vijay sethupathi in the lead roles now in theaters Sometimes violence is better than sacrifice. Maybe perhaps some unavoidable mild spoilers will be there in this review some. So if you haven't watched the film, come back after and then listen to this aram se. Katrina is Maria, a young mother with a secret. Setupati is Albert, a man back in Mumbai after 7 years, also with a secret. On Christmas Eve as South Mumbai is lit up in all its celebratory glory, these two meet at a restaurant and aforementioned secrets first are guarded with a little more ferocity until the tough exteriors of both these people break, confessions morph and mix to create even more secrets. The title Merry Christmas perhaps is asking the viewers, "Ki what is it that makes one truly happy? And what is your definition of merriment? How far would you go to achieve it once you realize no santa is arriving to bring you any joy at midnight will you become your own savior make your own christmas a happy one again we're stepping into mild spoiler territory i can't emphasize this enough who gets killed who does the killing obviously you will not hear that here but if you like to pick up clues don't watch or watch choose one good choice kaid mein bulbul motif presents itself throughout the film maria is in a terribly unhappy and probably a abusive marriage but she can't leave for the sake of her child the building's elevators cast cage like shadows on her face every time she goes up or down a bird in cage christmas ornament makes its presence felt and everything that goes on happens in one night compressed into a small time frame contributing to the claustrophobia even further albert on the other hand has regained his freedom after many years and when their paths cross like osmosis confined narrow spaces begin to expand maria sees an out and the openness of albert's new life begins to constrict around him once again except he doesn't know We'll come to Katrina and Setupati in a minute, but for now, let's talk about the story and its setting. The film is adapted by four writers from Frederick Dodd's French novel *Le Monde Charge*. Not having read the book, I have little understanding of how true to or far from the source material this film is. I, however, watched the book's French cinematic adaptation from 1962 after watching Merry Christmas and looking at the similarities between the two films I imagine Sri Ram Raghavan's work is very close to the book which made me think if this was simply adapted to an Indian context because one can find Alberts Marias Rosies and Annies in Christian communities here also by taking these French Italian characters of the 60s and plonking them in Mumbai when it was called Bombay without adding much more modern day context nuance or commentary i mean perhaps without intention but perhaps othering the christian population of the western coast of the country by stepping into stereotype territory painting them all as drunk philandering morally gray populace the french film is called paris pickup in english and a subtitled version is available to watch for free on the internet archives i'll link to it in description below but let me warn you abhi watching that might cloud your judgment of merry christmas because everything about that film is quite similar to this and better small annoyances i had with merry christmas were all answered in paris pickup for instance in one scene maria and albert get together to demolish a few things in the middle of the night inside a building all i kept thinking was in the densely packed bombay can the neighbors not hear what's going on in paris pickup set in the 60s the noise is acknowledged by shooting some scenes specifically highlighting how loud everything is how noise carries in the empty space of this building and why no one is around to hear it or oh, you watch and you'll understand for yourself hum jisse pyar karte hain wo mar jaye hamare liye uska pyar mar jaye marte to hum hi hai na merry christmas is very very stylish Nearly every scene is set atop Daniel B George's background score, a technically triumphant homage to the Hindi cinema of the 60s that mastered that camp murder mystery, Teesri Manzil Jewel Thief Hamraz, in turn inspired by visual stylings of a Hitchcock film and literary twists of a Sherlock Holmes novel. It's truly delightful to hear Sri Ram Raghavan and editor/co-writer Pooja Ladha Surti's oral take on something is afoot. 
The music enables you to almost visualize a graceful, agile, acrobatic, tiny framed thief jumping from scene to scene, sniggering to himself, finger on his lips. Which makes it a little disappointing to see the film stomp heavily where it needed to also be light-footed, most prominently in the opulent richness of the set where most of the action takes place, that is Maria's apartment. The exquisite beauty of production designer Mayur Sharma's work weighs too heavy and in effect distracts from the people in front of it. Vijay Setupati is perfectly understated as Albert, a man who's returned to the city after many years, isn't quite what he thought it would be. He says Pinocchio is his favorite film and yet he's the most honest character in the story. Even his lies have noble intentions behind them. Him telling Maria, I'll have anything fermented except dosa batter when asked to come in for a drink is funny in the sardonic, smart-assy way Setupati is known to sardonically play smart-assy character. He enjoys the freedom he suddenly has by claiming the city at night, having a coffee on the street, watching a movie by himself in a large theatre, talking to a singer at a bar, eating a comically large sizzling dish, bringing you along to each little adventure in a way only a gifted actor and their inquisitive eyes can. Choose one. The night is darkest just before dawn. Merry Christmas is also Katrina Kaif's finest performance, at par with her role in Zero, I would say. Maria is not a particularly motherly figure. Her attention wavers from her child a lot. But that's perhaps because Maria didn't want to be a mother. She wants what Albert now has, the freedom to be by herself. Katrina too is understated and like her character, keeps it together, rehearsed and on plan right until the end. The film ends at a police station where all the characters finally get together in one place, their stories and alibis crisscrossing. Police officers, played by a perplexed-looking Vinay Pathak, hilariously caricaturizing a detective from a mystery novel, and Pratima Kanan as his subordinate, who'd rather be anywhere but her job, and hence is in a rush to tie all loose ends. The police provide the comic relief, a welcome puncture to the tension, and yet they don't cross over into cartoons. When Vinay Pathak walks away to take a thinking break, the scene is as funny as Tikut Talsanya, Amir and Salman in Andaz Apna Apna. And when he inches closer to the truth, within seconds, it is as intense as Pran and Amitabh Bachchan in Zanjeer. The tonal shifts are masterful, doing successfully what I think Dunkey tried to attempt. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, Merry Christmas is two movies are playing the night Albert and Maria meet, Pinocchio, and Resiko, which is actually the title of a short story by James Bond writer Ian Fleming that never became a film. So then, is this real life or is Merry Christmas happening in an alternate dimension? Go watch at a theatre near you and tell me in the comments. Very much in this dimension, we've crossed 100,000 subscribers and as additional proof, I have this little thingy. So thank you, YouTube. And thank you, yes, you who's watching right now and who's about to share this review with a friend. And then watch the French movie in the description box. My name is Sucharita. Thank you for stopping by.